Hey guys, MC Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series Retro Fantastic Four Herald of Galactus. This is Fire Lord. So Hasbro is going kind of all out, I guess. So the HasLab for 2021 announcement um, and campaign it was Galactus for the HasLab. So um, <clears throat> with Galactus then becomes the need for uh, his heralds. Now... The HasLab itself has as bonus add-on tiers Silver Surfer, Frankie Ray Nova, and Morg. So that's three heralds. We've already gotten the Walgreens exclusive Silver Surfer, but we're going to get another one. I still think this is a way better Silver Surfer than that one that's coming in the HasLab because he's not all that silver. Um, we had Terax that was a Build-A-Figure years ago. Um, so, you know, there's a few different... Um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Heralds uh, that are out there. We just got the Herald Thor um, in the controller wave. Um, and then Hasbro Pulse um, also announced a Terax 2-pack with Terax and the Fallen one. Same exact figure, same build-a-figure with just different paint apps, which is kind of crazy that they would do that and not just release a whole new one. Although, it's much easier just to re-release a figure that has been released before, throw in another figure that's essentially, um, a, you know, a repaint, although, you know, I guess it's in the molded plastic of the color, but a different head sculpt. Um, it makes sense to me. I don't, I'm not even mad at it. You know, it sucks that I have this Build-A-Figure here and I don't really need, uh, but it's awesome for those that are going to be in need of Terax. We have Galactus coming. We need his heralds. Um, so we're getting them. So here's another one that, that came. People thought maybe he would be uh, one of the unlockables for the HasLab, but no, he actually got his own release on a retro card, the Fantastic Four card, um, fan channel exclusive. Um, I don't know... I mean, I guess if you're going to release any other Herald, I guess this would be the one to release on a single card. Um, I think he would sell a little bit better than, you know, the other ones for sure. Um, but, you know, this is the reason why it's going to be a fan channel exclusive. So you're, it's going to be online stuff. You're not really going to find it in stores unless maybe a GameStop Maybe a Best Buy, doubtful local comic shops for sure. But anyway, Fire Lord, it is the Retro Fantastic Four um, card back. So, you know, we've seen this before with the Doctor Doom and then the Fantastic Four in the entire wave. Uh, the bio here reads, Galactus transforms Xandarian naval officer Pyrus Krill into his, into his newest herald, the unwavering Fire Lord. Um, so he was part of the Nova Corps from my understanding. Um, and yeah. There he is. So let's go ahead and get him out of the package. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so here is Fire Lord. And it, you know what? <laughs> He's done actually quite nice in my opinion. It is the Spider-Man 2099 body mold. So it's just essentially a repaint of a figure that we've gotten over and over and over again. Um, that's the nature of action figures. Um, but looking at Fire Lord, what we have here is done really well. The paint apps uh, are, are solid throughout the figure, the forearms, the legs, uh, the torso, everything there. It's actually done really nice. So out of the package, he actually comes with fists, and then I already swapped the hands because these are the holding hands so he can hold his fire, um, his fire staff. So I don't know if that's like a little blue spot in there. But anyway, um, so it, as far as I know, you, these are not removable. So I wouldn't try and yank on those because they're probably not going to come out. But here we have his staff, um, and he can actually shoot fireballs here at the ends. And then these fireballs that are here look very nice. We have like a deep, dark orange red in there, and then it kind of goes out into the gradient into like the fire, uh, the lighter uh, orange into yellow, a little, little bit of translucency at the tip of the fire there just came out looking really good same thing over here i like how this one has this like this random spike of fire um one little flame kind of sticking out there and that looks awesome then again that kind of that deep dark orange red into the lighter yellow and everything so that came out looking really really nice now there's some weight to it it's not heavy but there's some weight so depending on how he held it if you were to hold it in this position over time it would probably start to bow out so i would be careful about that and you know depending on how you would pose it and kind of leave him um holding it so just you know really be aware of that but let's get in for a closer look um, at the paint apps and his hair because they're done really nicely okay so i darkened it up a bit so we can kind of see the details a little bit better but looking at the face sculpt look at those fire ass uh eyebrows
details in there. Uh, yellow eyes, a little bit of a dark color for the lips. Yeah, the face looks really, really, really good in my opinion. I think they did a great job on the paint apps and everything. Looking at the fire hair, like deep orange into the yellow. The translucentness a little bit to it. I think it looks crazy. I'm not the biggest fan of like windswept hair, but when it comes to fire, I guess there's not really any other way you could do it unless you just did it kind of up as opposed to off to the side. Um, but you know, they you know, or the other side or however they choose to do it. But I think it came out looking really good. Now, looking at the paint apps, the orange over here on the yellow torso came out looking really good. No issues whatsoever there. Looking at the white, oh, looks like there's a little bit of a scratch or something of orange there. Not a big deal, but looking at the white across, came out clean. No real issues there. I think it looks good. The orange over here on the yellow, that all looks really good. The red on the forearms, those flames in the, over the orange, came out looking really nice. No paint issues or anything there. And then looking at the legs, they just did it right above the calves there little red flames. It all looks really good. I think they did a great job on the paint apps here on Fire Lord. Um, so yeah, nice. Let's check out his articulation. Okay, so articulation. We've seen this body used multiple times and lately Hasbro has been kind of messing it up because they've been super gummy and everything. I'm happy to report this guy is not really gummy. Sure, there's some wiggle room in there, but this is nothing like what the future foundation um, stealth suit Spider-Man was like, um, so no real gumminess here. It's weird that sometimes it comes out really nice to where there's no gumminess, it's very sturdy, and other times where it's complete shit. I don't know what is the reason that causes that, if it's a different factory or the certain materials, the plastics that they're using at the factory at the time. I don't know if it's a cost-cutting measure or whatever the case may be, but here on Fire Lord, he does not have that gumminess issue of other figures, so just wanted to get that out of the way. So looking at articulation, head pivot, you get some pivot in the neck, which is great. Oop, he can look up and you can just pop the head on off, but he can look up that much, which is really good. He can also look down because we are on the disc hinge. Uh, which is great full rotation of course um, in there you can get the arm to go straight on out get a full rotation in that shoulder there is the butterfly joint so you can get the arm to go back hella far you can get it to come forward a little bit and then with that hinge you could do um, a little bit of that crossbody going on in there so that is great upper bicep swivel in there double jointed elbow it is an older body mold so we do have pins pins don't bother me because orange on orange hey not bad no issue there uh, but you get that much bend there at the elbow so just about 90 degrees wrists swivel and they do hinge all the hands have the horizontal hinge on them uh, we have an ab crunch here so he can crunch forward that much not too shabby he can crunch back a little bit there yeah still a decent amount there waist swivel legs go out that far apart he can kick forward that high which is good leg and eh, doesn't really come back ever so slightly upper thigh cut in there double jointed knee they do have pins because again old body but orange 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 no issues there you have a calf swivel right in the middle of the calf. Foot hinges all the way down. You get a little tiny bit of hinge up, ankle pivot, and peg holes at the bottom of the feet. So he uh, is good, and he's sturdy. No gumminess, no nothing like that. I don't have to worry about him falling over when trying to get him to stand as long as I have my feet flat. Works out really well. Okay, and just kind of collectively showing you guys some of the Heralds. Um, I'm excited to get all the other Heralds when we get Galactus. Um, word is Galactus will be shipping out in November, so um, when people will actually start to receive them, who knows, because I think last year they said Sentinel will ship out in September. Um, I got mine, I think, maybe in September or October or whenever it was. Some people got it really late in the month. Some people didn't get until even after that. <clears throat> so time will tell. We'll see. I'll be excited um, to get it. Uh, I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. We get all of our heralds together as well. Even if we are getting another Terax one. But, you know, a lot of people don't have the Build-A-Figures. From years ago, there weren't, I'm sure there weren't as many collectors back then. And then whether people have all of the pieces to Terax right now or not, uh, people really want it. So that's why Hasbro Pulse, you know, it's a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. You can get Terax and you can get the Fallen one and they put them together in a two-pack makes sense to do it that way it's not clogging up space in a store or anything like that you can only get it through hasbro pulse so it's one of those if you need it get it if you don't need it pass on it 
<laughs> who cares, right? It's one of those things. Um, I, I think it is a bit pricey, but keep in mind that Terax was a builder figure, even if it's an old ass body um, that they use multiple times, right? Sandman, Dormammu, Terax. I'm sure there's more that I can't think of at the moment. But there was a second Dormammu figure. There was a second Sandman figure. Was Boar on this body? I never actually opened my Battle for Asgard box set, San Diego Comic Con box set, so I don't know much about that figure. Um, I think he may have been on this body. So it's been used a bunch of times, uh, but it is what it is, you know, for the Heralds. If you want to get him, that is your option to get him, or maybe you can find the build a figure for a decent price. I'm probably going to sell mine. I don't know if it'll be before that Herald of Galactus box set comes out, or if it's going to be. Um, after but you know, I don't have a need for two of them and if you know my collecting rules um, a, You know anything from infinite series on uh, I am 100% completist Technically Terax was like the return of Marvel Legends era um, So this build a figure I don't actually need in my collection um, So, you know, I'm definitely gonna be letting it go and getting that two-pack from Hasbro Pulse. So um, Can't wait for that Okay, and for a final size comparison, here we have Fire Lord next to Galactus. I kind of cheated here. This is the Marvel Universe Galactus, not the HasLab. Again, that's going to be coming out here in the next couple of months, few months, nine, ten, two months. I don't know. We'll see. I'll be excited to get it. That Galactus is going to be much larger than this Marvel Universe one. But this Marvel Universe one was still a great figure to have if you didn't have the Toy Biz uh, Build-A-Figure either version. There's the dark version, right? No, I'm thinking Marvel Universe has the dark version. Uh, but the Build-A-Figure, if you had the, the Toy Biz one, um, which I think was uh, uh, was smaller than this, not that it was a bad figure. I think there was a lot of discoloration issues with the kind of the rubber of like the skirt piece. Um, and, you know, it's still a really good looking figure. I know I give Toy Biz a lot of shit. Their build the figures were, were done really nice. Um, so, you know, a lot of, there was a time where a lot of people really wanted a Galactus and this was the one to go after. Now that we have the HasLab one, um, I'm sure there are still going to be people that are going to be after it that just unfortunately, for whatever reason, did not order, could not order, or did not want to order, um, you know, We'll see kind of how that plays out. Galactus is right now the winner of all the Hasbro HasLab projects um, in terms of units, not like, you know, which funded the fastest or anything like that. But Galactus ha does hold the record for the most uh, units that are being produced in that campaign. So it's going to be pretty awesome. But anyway, Fire Lord is great. I, I thought I at first I was thinking, oh, this is just, you know, who cares about this figure? It's not all that great or anything like that. Um, but, you know, it, it, it's actually done really nice in my opinion you guys can let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of it um shout out to vanilla poser on instagram he actually um got his order in on this and then um and and sold it to me at a great price because i didn't have one come in and i didn't order it through big bad toy store where he had gotten his um so shout out to vanilla poser i'll have a link in the video description below to his instagram so you can give him a follow really nice guy um but yeah there's fire lord let me know in the comments below if you guys are going to pick it up or free passing on it or waiting to open it get it when galactus comes out let me know if you got galactus or if you passed out on it i'll be i'm i'm really curious on if you got it or not and if you didn't get it what is the reason why you didn't get it because sentinel was awesome galactus is going to be even better because it doesn't have weak knees even though my sentinel didn't really have problems with the knees but anyway, that's it. Um, hit that join button to become a channel member and join the MCU Collective. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.